Hey, welcome back to the Retirement Train Straight Talk. Let's talk about insurance now, different types of insurance. So let's talk about um, life insurance real quick. Now, as we age and get wiser and the children are gone and pretty much everything in your life is pretty much simple, what I mean by that is, you know, you're not covering for your children, God forbid, a death in the family at a young age, etc. You probably don't need as much life insurance or you don't need the riders that are associated with them with the savings portion of it. Now, if you have that already and you've had it for 20, 25, 30 years, well, it's probably paying off. You're probably drawing from it. If you're not, it's a whole other subject in the sense of can you sell it, right? Do you need it? Can you draw from it? Is there an expiration on it? These, these type of programs are very, very complicated, uh, just in my view. Now, what you could do is get a term life insurance policy. I did one in the sense when I was 50, I said, okay, at 85, if I pass, if I die, you know, my wife gets, I don't know, uh, 500,000 or a million dollars. I forgot what it was. I think it's $500,000. That's fine. You know, still got a, a couple more, uh, couple more years to go at age 63 but uh, that's an example of a term life it's relatively cheap I think I got it at 55 or so or 57 I believe it's costing me $90 a month or something like that so you know you get what you pay for so to speak if you want it it's out there for you but uh, it's not cleaning you out so to speak all right now the other one I have is a car insurance obviously everybody has car insurance and I max out both of my cars. I don't know why, but I do. I feel better about it. Um, what I mean by max out, you know, full coverage in a sense. And I add a few things to it because I have an um, umbrella policy. Now, what does that do? Well, let me back up a little bit here. Let's talk about the car insurance things. Now, to me, insurance in general is a damn scam, right? You have one little simple accident and they can raise your insurance premium, but you haven't had an accident in 30, 40 years, right? But they get you, boy, don't they? That being said, you have to have it. And insurance here in Texas, y'all, is quite high. I've got another insurance policy. It's called an umbrella policy. Now, umbrella policies are, are good to have because, hence the name umbrella, it covers everything, okay? Within your realm of your umbrella, in your home, your car, your personal issues. Now, let me, let me just talk about what it does and doesn't cover in my view. And I wrote a few things down here. It does cover injuries, right? Personal damage, certain lawsuits, personal liability situations. For instance, you got still got kids at home, 17, 18 years old, and he throws a baseball and hits another neighbor in the teeth, right? Umbrella policy can cover it, okay? If that person's, I should say, just under 18, 17, let's just say. All right. Um, let's say you're in a car accident. God forbid your car insurance only covers up to a million dollars or whatever, or $500,000 for personal injuries. They sue you for more, right? They see you bleeding and they want to come in for the kill. So I got an umbrella policy. I think it's up to $3 million. It cost me, what is it, 20 bucks a month? All right. Is it worth it to me? Yeah, probably. Because in retirement, I don't want to have to deal with that kind of stuff, right? That's the last thing you want for them to start drawing from your, you know, all your uh, investments and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I guess they probably could if they exhausted my umbrella policy, all right? So that could happen. But that's what the umbrella policy is for, to go up and be on your regular insurance, right? Now, what it doesn't cover in general, excuse me, is your own personal injuries, right? You're walking down the sidewalk and, and, and you know you slip on a piece of ice and you probably break your leg. I don't think it covers that. Or damage to your personal property. You run into your garage. Well, okay, you ran into your garage. I don't believe the umbrella policy is gonna help you with that. It's normally what you do accidentally to other people or maybe not accidentally, right? You get in a, a squabble with somebody out in town and something happens and uh, your umbrella policy could possibly help you there. Different states have different laws, wherever you're at. I know in Texas, I'm covered pretty well in those sorts of things. 
but that's something to really research y'all is umbrella insurance. It's important to me um, and it might be important to you, especially uh, when it, you just never know with folks today, right? Hell, they sue for anything now. So you gotta be careful, especially car accidents, right? I mean, personal property damage. You run into somebody's and you know, and you kill somebody, God forbid. Well, umbrella's policy. Up and beyond the normal uh, insurance you're covering now on your vehicles. All right, y'all, I hope this helped you. This little tidbit here might have helped you. I hope it did. And I hope you all can subscribe down below. And y'all come back now, you hear? This is Retirement Train Straight Talk out.